Two. He knows his name. He'll come to me when I call him. Hey, Swoop. Come here, mate. <laughs> Whenever he sees me outside, he'll just stick to me and follow me everywhere I go. I run around the block sometimes and he'll fly beside me. He's very, very attached and very needy. I was driving home from a friend's house and I just saw in the corner of my eye like a little ball of fluff on the side of the road and I thought, oh, was that a little magpie? He couldn't walk, he was really small and so I just wrapped him up in a blanket and brought him home with me and then just fed him every hour for like a few months. <laughs> it was pretty intense. A few obstacles that I had to overcome. The cat initially, because I didn't want the cat to eat him obviously. I had swoop and Mowgli was like, what the hell is that? I just had to say to him, no, that's family. He just backed off and calmed down. And then after a while, I knew I could trust Mowgli. They were just always hanging out together. I'd find them together out in the backyard. I'd be wondering who Swoop was talking to, and it would be the cat. I did want him to be free and wild, so I'd always take him outside and let him fly around, and I'd watch him on. learn to walk. Yeah. <laughs> one more, and another one. <laughs> yes. I've watched him learn to fly. I was like constantly nervous. A couple of times I've lost him, but he's always come back. Sweet. You gain trust in them, and they're more clever than you think they are. It's been incredibly rewarding, especially at this time for me. My dad's got cancer at the moment and it's terminal. And the day I found out about that is actually the same day I found Swoop. Oh. <laughs> he just gave me something to love and look after. And he's kept my mind occupied on positive things and he's brought me a lot of joy. He's completely free, he just flies around. Every kind of day he goes a little bit further. So one day he might go really quite far and find a family, who knows. But that's just nature and that's what I hope will happen for him. And in my hour of darkness, yes, you stand right in front of me. Speaker of wisdom, let it be. Like, comment, and subscribe.